Hello students. Today's topic is errors in gears. So before we get into the measurement of different elements of the gears, we have to know the different errors that are caused while manufacturing these gears. So a gear is a rotating member that constantly meshes with its mating gear. So we know gear has two parts. One is the driven and the other is the driving part. So it is a member which is constantly rotating and meshing with its mating gear. So the gear must have a perfect geometry to maximize the transmission of power and speed and to reduce the loss. So the major types of errors which occur in the gear are of seven types. The first one is the gear blank runout error. The second one is the gear tooth profile errors. The third one is the gear tooth errors. Fourth one is the pitch errors. Fifth one is runout errors. The sixth one is the lead errors. The seventh one and the last one is the assembly errors. So when we get into each of these errors one by one into their details. So the first one that is the gear blank runout errors. So these gears are machined by using a gear blank. So if this is the gear on which tooth are formed then these teeth are cut out on a blank. Let us consider this as a blank and this blank is either casted or forged. So we can say that the blank has undergone preliminary machining on its outer diameter as well as on its two faces. So this blank may have radial runout on its surface due to errors in the preliminary machining. So if there are errors while making or while the preliminary machining of this blank then there will be radial run out on its outer diameter. So they may also have run outs on the faces as the machining is done both on the blanks outer diameter as well as the faces. So we have to see that these two runouts that is the runouts on the outer diameter and the runout on the faces must be within the prescribed limits. If they exceed the limits then we will not be able to meet the tolerance requirements for manufacturing of the gear is about the gear blank runout errors. The second one is the gear tooth profile errors. So these errors are caused by deviation of the actual tooth profile from the ideal tooth profile. So there is an ideal tooth profile for the manufacturing of the gear tooth. So if we manufacture a tooth profile whose values are deviating from the ideal value then these errors will be caused. Then these errors are caused. So if there is excessive profile error then there will be friction between the mating teeth or there may be backlash between the mating teeth. If the profile errors are on the positive side then friction will be caused. If they are on the negative side then backlash will be caused. The next type of errors are gear tooth errors. So this type of errors can take two forms. So the first one is the tooth thickness error. So it may appear as a tooth thickness error or tooth alignment error. So if it appears as tooth thickness error then the tooth thickness which is measured along the pitch circle will have larger amount of error. So we have already discussed how a locus of point on the machined gear will follow an ideal path. So if there is alignment error then the 
machined gear teeth will not follow an ideal path and that is why this gear tooth error that is the alignment error will occur in the gear and that results in loss of alignment the fourth type of error is the pitch error so these type of errors must be completely avoided we cannot tolerate errors in the pitch when especially we want to have the gear transmission system to provide high degree of positional accuracy for the machine slide or axis so when the gear transmission is expected to provide a high degree of positional accuracy for the machine slide or axis then we cannot tolerate pitch errors in the gears so these pitch errors can be of two types that is single pitch error or accumulated pitch error the single pitch error is the error in actual measured pitch value between the adjacent teeth so if there is error between the actual measured pitch value between the adjacent teeth then such error is called single pitch error so it is measured only between two teeth accumulated pitch error and this accumulated pitch error is the difference between theoretical summation over any number of teeth interval so the pitch we are measuring between many teeth intervals and this is the theoretical value and the next is the summation of the actual pitch measurement on the same interval so when we make a gear and the actual measurement is made the difference between the theoretical value of the pitch obtained between the number of teeth minus or the the summation of the actual pitch which is made on the same number of teeth between a number of teeth interval the next type of error that is the fifth one is the run out errors so this type of errors are uh, referring to the run out of the pitch circle so run out errors will cause noise and vibration and also they reduce the life of the gear and the bearings so these type of errors are caused because of inaccuracies in the cutting arbor and the tooling system so when we are making the gears if the tooling system or the cutting arbors are inaccurately made then these type of errors will occur the sixth type of errors is the lead errors so lead errors are caused by the deviation of the actual advance of gear tooth profile from the ideal value or position so there is a ideal value or position for the actual advance of the gear if it is deviating from this ideal value then lead errors are caused so when there are lead errors then they will cause poor contact between the mating teeth and thereby there will be loss of power so the last type of errors is the assembly errors so the causes for assembly errors is either the center distance error or the axis alignment error so error in the center distance between the two engaging gears can result in backlash error or the jamming of the gears so if the center distance has an error between the two mating gears if it is not correctly positioned then two types of problems will occur the first one is the backlash or the second one is the jamming of the gears distance is large that is the center distance is large then backlash will be caused and jamming is caused when distance is small the next one is the axis alignment error 
this error is caused when the axes of the mating gears are not parallel to each other so there will be misalignment between the two gears and that will be a major problem so this is all about errors in gears